hey guys welcome back to my channel ag motion designs and in today's video we are going to create this kinetic typographic animation inside of after effects without using any third party plugin so if you are new to this channel then please consider to subscribe this channel and also hit the bell icon to get more updates so without wasting any more time let's So here we are in Adobe After Effects. Let's create a new composition. I'll call it as Main Animation. Width I'm going to choose 1920. Height I'm going to choose 180. Frame rate is 30. Duration is also 30 seconds long. And background color I'm going to choose white color. Simply hit OK and hit OK. Then I'm going to create another composition and I'm going to name it as Strip Comp and hit OK and do not do uh, anything over here and then hit ctrl n again and let's call it as strip and this time height i'm going to choose let's say 200 maybe like this or uh, hit ctrl k let's make this 150 or let's say hit ctrl k again or let's make it 100 yep this looks good to me now let's select your text tool and type your text i'm going to type motion Let's select this text. I'm going to delete this stroke. I'm going to choose black color. For the font, you are choose. You are free to choose any font you want. I'm going to choose Poppins, and I'm going to decrease the size somewhere around like this. And let's type motion graphics something like this text. I'm going to type. Okay, and let's decrease the distance between these alphabets like this. Now select this text, press Ctrl Alt Home again to align that anchor point to the center. Go to the Align tab, align it horizontally and then align it vertically. Now select or hit Ctrl A, hit Ctrl C and hit Spacebar two times and hit Ctrl V again to type this text again. Select this, press Ctrl Alt Home, go to the Align tab, align it horizontally again. So we will get this kind of text. Now select this text and hit Ctrl D to duplicate it like that and let's hide both of them now select your rectangle tool and simply double click on it sorry uh, deselect first of all text and then click double click to create a rectangle exactly at the size of this box and now let's delete this field we don't want any field like this and for the stroke i'm going to choose black color like this now go to the rectangle one rectangle path one size let's unlink this and let's decrease the size from here and decrease the size from here okay so we will get this kind of strip over here now let's enable this third text layer over here like this select this press p for position let's create one keyframe and let's go to around let's say 1.20 frames and by holding shift i'm going to move this from here to here okay and select this second one and enable it like this now select this layer and make it apparent with this third one like this so if i see this animation i'll get something like this now select those keyframe and hit f9 now let's go somewhere around over here and copy the first keyframe by simply hitting ctrl c ctrl v now select those keyframe and hit f9 again go to the graph editor select this graph by holding shift i'm going to move this handle over here and this handle over here so if i hit play i'll get this kind of animation now alt click on the stopwatch and type loop out expression on it like this so you will get this animation continuously then press ctrl y to create one solid background and hit ok and bring this downwards now go to the strip comp and bring our strip over here like this okay now let's go to the main animation and press ctrl y to create one solid background i'm going to choose black color simply hit ok and hit ok and let's lock this layer now bring our strip comp layer over here like this and now go to the effect and presets panel and search for cc cylinder effect and double click to apply so you will get this kind of thing now if you want then you can increase and decrease the radius but i am going to choose 100 percent only and now let's go to the rotation and we will rotate it on let's say x axis on x axis like this okay and select the strip press r for rotation rotate it like this and i am going to move this thing over here like this 
okay select this hit ctrl d uh, and let's change the color of this one to red and let's move this over here press r for rotation and rotate it like this and let's move this over here okay select this hit ctrl d let's change the color of this one to yellow and let's move this over here then press r for rotation rotate it like this and move this over here let's rotate it okay now select this hit ctrl d let's change the color of this one to aqua press r for rotation rotate it like this let's move this over here hit ctrl d press r for rotation rotate it like this and let's move this over here okay now select all these files and let's try to adjust it over here okay like this so if i hit play now it will take a little bit time to load let's choose chord resolution so as you guys can see we will get something like this now let's do one thing let's hide uh, all of them uh, all of this thing and we will focus on this first one which is trip with this color now let's do one thing uh, instead of rendering it full i am going to render it outside and hit ctrl d select this one and this one should be inside okay so this one is inside this one is outside now i'll select this one which is this one and let's create one outside hit ctrl d select this fifth one and let's create one inside okay now this inside should be in the middle of this two like this so we will get something like this as you guys can see it will look like they are interconnecting with each other okay now let's focus on this one let's select this one let's create one outside like this hit ctrl d select this one let's make this inside now this inside one should be over here like this okay so if you see it looks like they are interconnecting now again let's try to focus on this one select this one hit ctrl d to duplicate it this one should be outside and this one should be inside and this inside should be in middle of this two like this so we will get something like this now this one let's change the color of this one to pink again hit ctrl d one should be outside and this one should be inside and this inside should be over here like this so now it will look like they are interconnecting with each other like this okay now what we need to do over here those who are with same colors let's go to the 10 frames like this red all those are with red ones i'll move them over here then go to 20 frames now those who are with yellow color i'll move them over here go to around one second let's select this and this let's move them over here go to around 10 frames select this one and this one move them over here and now select all of them hold alt open bracket and trim it out go to the start and let's move them move them over here so we will get this kind of alternations in their animation and if you think this animation is quite fast so all you need to do over here simply go inside this select this and by holding alt increase the duration like this so if you see this thing over here we will get something like this now another thing you can do over here <laughs> let's make the full resolution so we can see properly now i'll select this red one and i'll go to the effect and presets panel and i'll apply <coughs> tint effect on it and i'll swap these colors if you want you can do that so select this hit ctrl c select this red one and hit ctrl v to swap these colors like this now i don't need to swap the color of this one but i will swap the color of this one so let's see which one is that okay so those who are in aqua color uh, let's select this hit ctrl v sorry or select this apply tint color and swap this again select this apply tint then swap this so you will get something like this okay now let's select the topmost layers we will go to the effect and presets panel and we will apply drop shadow effect on it 
let's double click to apply increase the distance to 20 increase the softness to 50 like this select this drop shadow hit ctrl c select all of them and hit ctrl v to paste that so you will get this drop shadow effect okay and let's make this court resolution so now we will get something like this now select all of them and press ctrl shift c and let's call it as strip and hit ok hit ctrl d press s for scaling options scale it like this move this over here press r for rotation rotate it like this hit ctrl d move this over here hit w and rotate it like this hit ctrl d move one over here hit ctrl d and move one over here like this okay so if you see we will get this kind of stuff and if you again want alternation in their animation you can do that also you can arrange them alternately like this and go to the start and let's move them over here like this okay and then you can go to apply wiggle effect on it like go to the effect and presets panel and apply wiggle position effect on them so along with the strip animation you will get this wiggle animation also okay let's make this full resolution so if you go to the start and if you see this it will take a little bit time to load but this looks cooler right click new and create one adjustment layer you can apply tint effect on it again and you can simply swap this color so you will get different results instead of white if you want you can choose different colors also to get this kind of results so yep that's it for today's video we will see you in my next video so i hope you guys have enjoyed this tutorial and if you like this tutorial then please consider to subscribe this channel and also hit the bell icon to get more updates and if you want to create some more interesting animations like this then check out these two videos i'll see you in my next video until then stay tuned